Greetings, everyone. So we're going to be unveiling my upgraded tent. Uh, I totally didn't understand what was going on here. Um, so I believed that when I took my basic camping tent and made it into a natural tent, it was going to be something that I could do to create more amenities. I didn't realize that I only had a level one, so you're going to see me be a little annoyed and aggravated when uh, I go to look. Now, I'm doing my voiceover after the fact because, as we've discovered, the voiceover while you're recording the actual video just isn't all that good because it captures all the sound, not, you know, just my voice. Or even just the game audio, which I'd be totally happy with. So, by upgrading this tent, a bunch of my animals' friendship levels went up. Uh, of course, the video is being a little spoopy on me, a little mean because uh, it just says building preview, but I know what's going on. It's showing me, you know, my friendship levels. It's showing me what I'm getting as a reward from the Eminals for, you know, attaining this friendship level with them. And that's pretty much it. We're in this festival, and I level up, which is awesome. And the screen actually froze when I was in mid-jump, so that looked pretty cool. Uh, I did a lot of cutting and editing just on the loading screens for certain things. And as you can see, it's very easy to get leaf tickets. Um, I think when we get into the second half of the video, you'll see that especially how much of a jump there can be. Uh, I think I'm currently up to like 170 or 80 some. Uh, that's I don't think that'll be shown in the video, but uh, just taking a quick walk around the campsite just so you guys can see what I've been doing and what I've been up to. But this portion of the video is actually from, I believe, the 11th of November, and it's now December 2nd when I'm doing my voice re voice over. Um, so I'm just gonna go around and check out the shops, see if there's anything worthwhile in them. Um, maybe I'll get something, I don't know. And I kind of think the whole reason they had the market stalls for the players profiles is because it seems like there's a pretty tight rotation of items that the Nookling puts out each day, and it seems to me like maybe every player gets different items. But I think they more want you to craft your own, which is why his rotation is so tight. Um, so I do like a lot of the things that I see at OK Motors. I just don't want any of them for my own camper. So it was actually gonna be a very short video. I think the original cut of the video was about four minutes long. Um, I usually try to go back to, you know, my campsite when I'm done recording a video simply because I don't know how often it auto saves. So I try to make sure that when I leave a location, I'm pretty sure it saves when you move around. So, uh, I'm standing at the campsite at this point in time, just because, um, I was getting ready to end the first half of the video. And, okay, so here we are in the second half. This was from December 27th when I upgraded the tent to its final third form. And, of course, I'm seeing a lot of building preview. Please wait as I'm watching it. But, of course, when I watched it through without doing my voiceover, it doesn't do that. So now that I'm trying to put my voice in, of course... So yeah, the upgrade, the level one and the level two look identical, but the level three, you get some lights. There's a little more activities for the animals. I think there's some flowers that weren't there before. Uh, there's all the animals, Apollo, Bunny, Jay, Punchy, and Eloise, who all had their friendships increase thanks to me upgrading this tent. Uh, I think only Eloise, maybe, is into the natural theme. Um, there's a lot of other cooler options, but I just preferred the natural one because the amenity that I can build now with it is going to be the picnic table. Come on. And I'm going to try to build that right now, or at least get it started. Because you can see there's no more signpost there telling me that I could put an amenity there because now I can put one. So there it is. And oh yeah, I was trying to actually put an amenity down thinking that I already had it, but no, I had to go into the crafting screen so that I can actually make it. And I actually don't have enough natural essences, 
Which, why do they include essences? Like, where are they coming from? The animal, you do get them when animals level up their friendship or whatever. But, yeah, it's kind of strange. You can get it from the shovel quarries at times, too, if you, you know, get enough people to help you. Um, and I've found that with the shovel quarry, I think having a lot of friends for this game actually works. So I did put my uh, friend code up on Tumblr, so make sure to check me out over there. Uh, there is that link in the description box. If you want to add me as a friend this way, I can help you, you can help me. Everyone will be happy because everyone lends a hand. Uh, I actually did get some gold and silver out of the shovel quarry. Uh, I'm not talking about what's going on on the screen right now just because, well, I can't really, I'm just researching what animal I need to start paying more attention to to get that natural essences because I have 10 out of 20. So hopefully I'll get a fair amount from Eloise. I don't think she'll ever be invited to my campground, but you know, it'll be what it is. Um, let's see. I wish I could make my own custom, like, sticker to put onto my van so I could put a, like, MGL sticker on the side so this way when people saw it, they would identify it as being my van specifically. Though the green and silver should probably be a dead giveaway. I didn't go two-tone green because that's weird. Like, I like green, but not that that much where everything has to be super green, like Ruby Rod. Um... So yeah, I checked out the store, and this time I think I did buy something. I think I did get the flame hat, uh, shirt, hat. Yes, that's what that is, with the sleeves. Hats have sleeves. And then we'll go and check out the Nookling. Any minute now. Meh. So, yeah, I try to keep the videos when I actually make them very short. Um, just because I want to make sure that, you know, I'm not wasting your time going around doing fetch quests for the animals, even though that is part of Animal Cro- Ooh. Yeah, the flame decal coating for the camper was pretty nice looking, but while it did look like something I wanted, it's just not for right now. So, that's pretty much it. I'm going to take a walk around the campground. I'm not going to do a lamp cult like many people are doing or even locking up their animals. Make sure to hit the links below to follow me on social media. Make sure to give this video a like, do subscribe, and check out my other videos in the right-hand column.